Please use this app responsibly, watch first and practice later. It's time to connect our skills and to develop additional flow and confidence. We're going to be joining together our forwards and backwards crossovers in a figure of eight. This skill is more about learning the series of movements and then a maximum quantity of rehearsal to perfect your small details. So we will start our forwards figure of eight facing into our circle with our giant L slightly open making sure our crossovers are using nice sliding pushes as we stroke and cross. When it's time to change over from one circle to the other we can use a simple forward inside glide and carry the shoulders to start our opposite direction. And of course this will be the same when we reverse that direction, forward inside glide, moving the shoulders around to prepare to be able to take our crossovers in the next direction. Now, I'm skating very few crossovers here, but you would be expecting to skate nice large circles to give you maximum possibility to practice those forwards crossovers. For our backwards crossovers, again, it's mostly about the join between the two different circles. So let's talk about that. If I'm concluding my first circle of backwards crossovers, I'm going to use a little lunge for a cross to the side. So I'm gonna step out wide, lean and lunge a little bit to my left, and then I will push across to start my new circle direction. I'm gonna try that in the opposite direction for you. Here we go, I'm going to step out and lean across slightly to my right, then sway left to take myself across. Very important here to notice that as we're changing sides, we're also changing our observation direction to make sure that we can always see whoever's behind us. Because when we skate our backwards crossovers and develop good flow, it's one of our fastest ways of skating. For figure skaters, one of the main purposes of learning this drill is literally to drill our body positions and our stroking patterns. We want pushes with no toe picks and no scratches. We want upper body carriage to be nicely isolated from the busyness of what's going on with our legs below. And this gives us the opportunity, this exercise, to practice that over and over again. Hockey skaters, as you skate this exercise, you'll be able to skate with a slightly freer style, allowing your arms and shoulders to move a fraction more like a running pattern so that you create a more naturalistic means of moving as you would do in a game scenario. But just like the figure skaters, it's all about drilling our multi-directional skating. Now let's talk mohawks. For hockey skaters, it's all about function and efficiency bringing the shoulders to face into your new circle and then rotating the new foot ready to cut in and switch us to backwards. Also anticipating moving on to our crossover. The many disciplines in figure skating require different levels of tightness of the feet. Here, this looser arrangement is more akin to single style skating. You've met all these principles before, so let's go through it. We approach, shoulders facing into our circle, and transport the shoulders during our entry edge to face into our new circle. You'll notice the relatively relaxed footwork and leg shapes that form an approximate but very wide T compared to our earlier work. But most importantly, anticipating the slowdown and cessation of the rotation of the shoulders so that the free side ends up checked back, hip and shoulder, and the standing side is fully in control before we start our crossovers. 